Can't be helped, I'm afraid. This is the biggest and sturdiest boat that I can provide. It's built from the finest Inazuman timber. Still, I'll be the first to admit that if he's planning to ride this into the storm, it's going to be exceedingly dangerous. I'm also hoping Sakajiro won't have to use it. It's just there as a last resort. I gotta say though, Koichi, it feels like your craft has improved once again. <laughs> I'm not the one you should be praising. It's all thanks to the guys who kindly pitched in. To avoid detection, we each worked on our own materials separately, then assembled them secretly in the night. This is the largest we could afford to build. Any bigger and there's no way it would pass the Tenryo Commission's inspection. Let's store the boat here for now then. I'll fill Sakajiro in when I get back. He'll need to make some- all of a sudden, uh, doesn't helping Sakajiro make you a collaborator in the eyes of the Tenryo Commission? <laughs> Maybe it does, but I knew what I was getting into from the moment I agreed to help him. My family has pretty good connections with the Yashiro Commission. We work very closely with them, and whenever there's an- As long as I'm polite and respectful and don't cause a fuss, they won't look to cause trouble for me either. And anyway, to your point about collaboration, you've been helping out too, right? That's true. This was all a collaborative effort. Wait! <gasps> ah, so you're seasoned crooks already, eh? Don't know what I was worried about then. <laughs> anyway, thanks for everything, Koichi. And your fireworks are ready, so just go pick them up from my house whenever you want. While you're there, you can get my pops to settle the boat construction fees. Oh, don't worry about paying anything. Third Sis would be sure to scold me if she found out I'd taken Mora from the Naganoharas. Who's Third Sis? Oh, uh, let me explain this one. It's a story my pops told me. There used to be a thriving merchant guild in Inazuma. It got really prosperous. At one point, there were a dozen or so kids born around the same time to the families of the guild. They all grew up together, each of them learning their respective family's business. They were a tightly knit group of friends, but eventually, they all grew up and decided they each wanted to go into business themselves. It was inevitable that business would send them all to different corners of the world, and that they'd have far less opportunity to see each other in the future. That's right. Just before we went our separate ways, the eldest of the group suggested that we should all go watch some fireworks together one last time. <laughs> They were all very ambitious types, and each had their own knack for doing business. One b after that, he hardly saw them. But whenever one of them did come back to visit, fireworks would always be involved. Yeah, no matter how close you and your friends are, there's always going to be s some distance after being separated for a long time. But as soon as the fireworks lit up the sky, it'd instantly take us right back to our childhood, and we'd be chatting away like in the old days. To us, those memories are eternal. Oh, so this is what you meant when you were talking about commemorating things. Yep, that's exactly right. That's why I can't let people down when they're counting on me for their fireworks. Anyway, I need to go update Sakujiro. See you, Koichi. Thanks again for your help. Yeah, I should get out of here, too. I don't want to get caught red-handed. Okay, story time! So, whenever Koichi brings one of his friends from the Trade Association to see me, they always mention how they used to play with me when I was a kid, or held me once as a baby, or something. 
but there are so many of them in that friendship group, and I don't remember anything from that age anyway, so I uh, never have a clue who they are. One time, he shows up with another one of his friends, and the friend asks me if I remembered him. So I'm like, yes, I do! You held me once when I was just a baby! Koichi just bursts out laughing and says, actually, this is one of his carpenter friends. Turns out, he's a lot younger than he looks. Just a few years older than me. I went bright red and must have apologized like a million times. I was so embarrassing. 